Hello, my name is Serhii Kristev. I am a lead animator at Creative Assembly Studio. I have nine years of experience in animation industry. During my career, I have been working on my own projects. In my spare time, it helped me to develop my animation skills and build my confidence. I define tips and recommendations that I want to share in this presentation on how to improve your demo reel, make your animation stronger and increase chances of being hired. I hope you find this information interesting and useful. Couple words about my background. I joined at Creative Assembly in 2021 as the senior gameplay animator. I worked on the projects such as Warhammer 3 and Warhammer 3 DLCs. Previously, I worked at 4A Game Studio in Kiev, Ukraine, on projects such as the Metro Exodus and Metro Exodus, Sam Story and Metro Exodus 2 Colonels. Before my game dev experience, I worked as the keyframe animator on the feature film Clara and as a mocap animator on a local TV show. Let's start with the tips how to improve your demo reel and make your animation stronger. Keep your demo reel short. Do not try to impress with the length of your reel. Rather than having long reel with a lot of animations and with different quality, I suggest you to focus on having more polished and detailed works only with the best quality in it. By focusing on creating your short portfolio, you'll avoid failure, you'll avoid frustration, you won't feel tired yourself, and you'll be more motivated to finish your work and complete it. First impression is very important. Think in a way that your reel is your business card and it represents you your, and show your skills. Leave only the best recognizable and sharp works in it. Put your best shots at the beginning and delete works that are old and not representing your current level. Having weak shots may show you that you can distinguish good quality work from the bad one. There is a chance that hiring person won't be interested to watch the whole reel to the end if it's not catch the eye from the beginning. If you are not sure what works you should delete, ask your friend, colleague or teacher or professional. Prepare your reel aiming for a certain role or studio. For example, if you're aiming for a role related to gameplay animation, focus on having solid body mechanics shots with attacks, combat attacks, death animation, idols that will work from all the angles. Aiming for cinematic roles, you should have acting shots. Also, you should have some camera works and you need to show that you understand that uh, all the camera features such as composition and principles, how camera works. Studio will be focused on choosing reels that fit their style. For example, if a studio works in a realistic style, they won't be interested in stylized squash and stretch animation. Highlight for what you were responsible during your creating your reel. Break down and show the information about shots in your reel. Is it your personal work or maybe you done it in animation courses? Maybe you collaborated with some other people. For example, maybe you asked some help from the programmers or designers. Just highlight this. It will be beneficial to you and beneficial to me as the hiring person to know this information. In your animation reel, add a variety of different weighted characters, different weapons and creatures. I think practicing with weight is very beneficial to have in your reel. It shows that you can, you understand the principles of, of the weight, how heavy objects behave, and it's, 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 really, it's really beneficial to have in your portfolio. Animate for different angles. Focus on animating characters from all the angles. It will improve your body mechanics and make your poses balanced and appealing. You can add a simple camera animation in your shot, but be sure that you have footage from other angles as well. Use the reference. Before starting your animation, think more about the idea, film or find the right reference. Preparation makes your animation process smooth and it adds a lot of confidence. 
There are less chances that you will be stuck with your animation and find yourself frustrated. Learn how to analyze your reference. It will help you to understand body mechanics, and it highlights very important details such as leg twist, hip shifting, jiggle, secondary motion, anticipation, and all the small details that you might skip if you won't be using the reference. Analyze animation. Also, I recommend analyze animation from professional works. Use the frame by frame function to break it down. You will start to understand arcs, anticipation, spacing, weight, hand in time, poses. Think about all the principles and rules behind this animation. Focus on only animation during creating your demo reel. Do not spread your time on learning other disciplines, such as rigging, lighting, modeling. There are a lot of great rigs and assets that you can download for free or buy. Do not bother yourself too much with uh, music or render in your reel. You can always add simple lighting, but do not rely on it too much. Being an animator and knowing rigging is something beneficial, but it's not necessary to have, because in studios these areas are covered by other professionals. Focus all of your time only on animation and you will see how you grow much faster. Invest in yourself. Animation courses will help you boost your animation skills, your confidence and practice in communication. Courses will teach you how to apply feedback from your mentor on your works. They also give you a lot of answers and open your perspectives on your workflow and pipeline. At the end of the courses, you will have works that you can share, but remember, courses are the hard work and it's up to you how much effort you put into them. Inspire yourself. Play different games, watch animated feature films and game trailers. Watch animation talks from conferences, watch professional animation reels, and read other blogs from other animators. You will create a visual library of references and it will help you to find new ideas for your personal work and it will help to improve your workflow and keep you motivated. Working on your animation reel, try not to rush. Avoid surrounding yourself with the stress. Enjoy and have fun. Do not overthink and keep everything relaxed. It's about discipline and consistency, it's not about burning out. As a lead animator, part of my responsibilities are being involved in the recruitment process. Here are tips and recommendations that improve your chances being hired. Share your animations on social media and ask the feedback. You will start to receive very important notes from professionals and it helps you to improve your animation. You will become more visible for other studios, animators and HRs, and your works become recognizable. Our community is very small and being visible on social media will improve chances to find your job. Don't aim on the top studios from the beginning. Studios received a lot of applications and your experience might not be enough. Do research on studios that may be looking for less experienced animators, but with the right attitude and willingness to work and gain knowledge. Also, it's worth having a look on the internship in the big studios. It's very competitive, honestly, but if you will have a strong and targeted reel, it will be a great start on your career. Before applying, do research about the studio and the role. In what style and on what projects the studio works on. As I mentioned before, if you have cinematics reels and you are applying to gameplay role, or if you have stylized animation portfolio and you are applying on realistic projects, the chances of being hired are quite small. Apply to the studio that close to your style and vision of animation, you will be working on it every day and you should feel comfortable and satisfied. Be prepared for the interview. Prepare and ask questions about the studio, pipeline, working culture, responsibilities, how studio will treat you as an employer. Asking right and interesting question is always a good and beneficial practice. Be very open and honest while answering the questions. Take your time and 
do not rush with answers. Do not try to impress with something that you can't do. If you can do better, then why haven't you added it in your portfolio? It is okay if you do not have experience in some areas, maybe some engines or not familiar with some softwares. Show the willingness to learn, show the passion and interest. It's more about the right attitude. For example, if you are not familiar with mocap, answer honestly that you never worked with it, but you are open to learn it. If you receive the animation test, take it very seriously. Think about ideas and plan the full process. Find or shoot reference. Remember about style that fits to the studio. Keep in mind all the principles as the weight, poses, spacing, timing, and keep ideas simple. After submitting your test, you can break down your workflow and describe your thought process during creating your shot. Do not forget to ask for feedback. Lead or hiring person can give you notes on it and show your problem areas. Rejections can be tough experience, but you should look on the bright side. You're practicing having an interview with a more experienced person. There is an opportunity to ask questions that you are interested in. Sometimes rejections could happen and the reason it's not it's the studio does not have the right position for you at that moment and they can return to your candidacy in the future. Remember that next time during the interview, you'll be more experienced, relaxed and prepared. Animation can be stressful. Being an animator, it's not only about sitting in front of computer for hours, looking for new ideas for your personal shot, constant overthinking and doubt, are you good enough? Not only about tons of self-projects on PC that will never been finished, but it's also about satisfaction when you finally finish your shot and saw it in the game or the film. It's about freedom and creativity. It's about new connections, new friends and your opportunities. I remember when we finished Metro Exodus, I came to work and it was the day when we all played the game and read comments on Metacritics. After I finished the game, I finally saw myself in the subtitles. It was one of the best days in my career. I wish all of you to see your first subtitles, no matter in-game, TV series or films. Enjoy the process, you are on the right way. Thanks everyone for your time and have fun.